The nine-game tournament win streak comes to an end for Albany. They suffer their first loss in 19 games at home. And the number seven seed, Hartford, moving on to the semifinals of the America East with their 68-59 win over Albany. Jeremy Friel, John Brickley with you. This was a game defined by three-point shooting. Hartford set the tempo early on, and they never let go after that. Everybody in the conference in the region knew exactly what Hartford had to do tonight to win. It was in print, it was in media, it was everywhere. If they hit 12 three-point baskets tonight, they were, had a great chance of winning. They made nine in the first half, rode the momentum in the 17-point half halftime lead all the way to the end. And the three-time defending champs in Albany just had no answer as we take a look at some of the highlights from this game. And for Hartford, it was all about the three-point shooting coming in ninth in the nation in made threes. They had seven guys knock down at least one three, and it was something spectacular to watch. And that was the key. Who did you stop? In, in the first two games, they didn't have multiple guys scoring. They had three guys in double digit scoring for tonight. That third guy was huge for Hartford to get the upset overall. And then we take a look at the second half. Pancake Thomas did struggle, although he led with the 16 points, but he did have a couple of his teammates picking up the slack for him. And freshman George Blagovic who hit the first three in that montage. 13 points, eight rebounds. Didn't play like a freshman. You can see why Coach Gallagher is so high on this young kid. And we talked about Pancake Thomas, the five made threes. Jalen Ross, J.R. Lynch also big as well and Hartford gets the victory moving on. We take a look at some of the final stats, although Albany really came in with the inside pressure, leading in points in the paint and in offensive rebounds. The story was the three-point shot for Hartford. Absolutely, and that trumped any offensive and defensive rebounding by the Great Danes that they had. Their advantage in the free throw line, a team that averages you know, third in the nation in attempt, uh, makes and 10th uh, in attempts from the line. It went 13 for 19, and majority of those were in the second half. Hartford just the second ever number seven seed to knock down a number two. They'll move on, face off with Stony Brook, the top seed in the semifinals of the America East Tournament. Hartford the win over Albany, final once again 68-59.